A few days back, I started trading with a small pocket option account, and I want to show you how exactly you can grow a small trading account. Hey everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube, and welcome to a brand new video for the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can grow a small trading account. But hey, if you're new to my channel and you're into binary options, Forex, or any type of making money online, this channel is for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button below, and let's dive right into the video. Hey, before I actually jump into the content of this video, I do want to give you a warm invitation to my free BLW Trading Academy. In case you were not familiar, now it's 100% free. So I'm actually going to put the link to it in the description of this video. It's actually blwtradingacademy.com. And it's a full training in regards to binary options and Forex and no cost at all. Here, you're going to learn all the basic information in regards to the trading. Plus, you're going to learn all the technical analysis that I personally do, such as strategies, uh, price action and so on so if you want to be part of it remember we have no cost at all into it so i'm going to put the link to it in the description of this video now what is a small trading account for those of you who are going to be wondering hey how much do you mean a small trading account look i'm going to consider a small trading account from like 200 dollars and below that why or even yeah 200 dollars and below that why because that's pretty much like the minimum that you can deposit with most of the brokers even though with pocket option you can deposit as low as 50 bucks still 200 dollars. i think it's a small trading account but you can consider your trading account for like 10 20 50 $50 as long as you actually follow the exact same parameters that I'm going to share with you in this specific video in regards to risk management, risk percentage that you're going to put into every single trade and so on and so on. So hopefully that actually makes sense. Now, what is the one minute strategy for those of you who are not familiar with it? It is a combination of two different indicators. One is the stochastic oscillator and the second one is the RSI. When you actually combine these two indicators, you're going to be able to understand what is an oversold and overbought condition and enter a trade based on the retraction of that same uh, trade. Now, I've been using this specific strategy for a long time, probably like a year or something like that with a, a few tweaks. But if you want to learn the updated strategy that I actually have for you, I have it right here. I don't know what happened with this website. I have it right here. It is on the link in the description of this video. It is a free training for like about one hour. It's a pre-recorded webinar where you are going to... Uh, you're going to learn how this strategy actually works okay now what is it that you're going to learn in this specific strategy you're going to learn how to set it up how to have the best entry points what are the best pairs to trade and we also have some q a inside of the webinar so that we could actually discuss what are the best options to trade with this specific strategy so if you actually want to learn it like i said i'm going to put the link to it in the description of this video you can enter it anytime during the day during the week and hopefully i can see you there so you can learn this strategy by yourself now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the, the light trades that I constantly show you guys all the time I'm showing you some live trades. Why? Because I like that you guys actually learn by looking at what is it that I did. So here I am placing a couple of positions on Euro GBP. And um, one thing that you can understand as usual is that, uh, you know, it's over but on a stochastic but it's not overbought on rsi and i enter at the crossover on the stochastic oscillator you're going to learn that in that specific webinar that i had but you can see that my account was actually around 100 dollars 95 dollars or something like that so i decided to enter with five dollars now is this too much to risk? Yes, it's too much to risk. Why? Because I'm actually trading with over 5% of my balance on every single trade. Now, Chris, why didn't you do it if you always teach us to have good money management? This is because you want to grow a small account. Now, there's two factors that you have to keep in mind when it comes to growing a small account. Number one is that obviously, if you're risking with a small account, you want to grow it fast. And number two, if you're uh, trading with a small account is going to be completely easier for you to be recover if you in case blow your account entirely while you're trading. Why do I say that? Because if you're actually going to be trading with a bigger account, obviously it's going to take longer for you to recover that money. 
But if you're trading with a small account, that means that your risk should be lower. So you should be willing to lose the $200 or the $100 that you have. If you're not, this video doesn't apply to you, okay? I am willing to actually do it. That's the reason why I decided to jump with this amount of money. So here, I decided to trade again with $5. Over here is the oversold conditions. So I enter this position right here. And again, it's curious that I enter for five bucks, but I enter it many times. I enter less times than I usually enter when I got one minute uh, as my uh, risk percentage. As you can see right now, I just entered one position and that was it. That was it. I, I actually uh, sent uh, these trades as signals. That's why you see this part right here, because I, I entered these trades as signals. But yeah, we won that position. So we started with 95 bucks and now we are at 118. Let me see. Yeah, 95 bucks. Now we're at 118. So we started again. I had already entered one position. That's why my balance seems like $113. I enter at this exact crossover. And uh, yeah, this I think it was going to be another easy trade, another five dollar position and one hundred and thirteen dollars from ninety five dollars now was at one hundred and twenty two dollars. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the, the other one. It's not the last one. Uh, this one I enter call position as well on euro usd this one i probably lost it and i enter another one yeah i lost it but i enter another one at a lower level because i knew that the price was actually going to jump now if you win one and you lose one you usually kind of break even you lose but very very little money but i ended up losing so you can see right here i'm at 121 so it's pretty much the exact same thing where i started but then i saw another opportunity on euro usd because the price continued to drop but it was continue it was an oversold condition so here we have a total of four positions opened uh let me see the third one where it expired there you go here i lost the first one but then i actually won the other three which gave me a 75 percent accuracy on that same uh position now remember i started with 20 with 95 dollars 95 dollars again is a very very small account but still i was able to actually take it all the way to 130 something dollars uh last trade is about to expire and then boom 135 dollars that's a total of 40 dollars in one single session that's around 50 percent increase in one single session okay now why is it that i wanted to show you this because uh by growing a small account is going to be kind of complicated for you to actually grow it if you decide if you decide to actually uh how can i put it if you decide to grow a small account but you're not willing to actually risk slightly a little bit more, unfortunately, you won't be able to do it. Since this is a small account, you should be able to risk a little more in order to uh, you know, grow it faster. But this only applies if you want to grow that account faster. If not, then you get just continue trading the way you are. Now, how much money you should place per trade if you're actually planning to grow a small account? I think that 5% is good as long as you enter uh, three, four times at the most inside of that position. For instance, my $100 account, it could be like around five bucks and four or five position is fine. As long as you win three, you're gonna be profitable. But if your balance is, let's say for instance, $20, then you should be trading with like $1. It still is the minimum, but that's the maximum that you should trade with. You can trade with two, $2, because that's 10% of your balance. That means that five positions that you lose and you lose 50% of your balance. So hopefully that actually makes sense. So go ahead and trade with 5% of your balance on every single entry, as long as you can afford to lose your entire balance. Hopefully this is clear enough. And how many trades you should enter per setup, I think that five should be the trick. Now, again, if you win three of those five, you're still profitable, probably not that much, but if you win the five of them, you're gonna be extremely profitable. So I recommend you to stick to five. So hopefully, again, that makes sense. But just remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a legal advisor. I'm just a regular trader who's showing you what he's doing. So hopefully this helps as an example and not as a guide for you to actually go and then talk to your accountant and say, hey, Chris says that I should do this. It's only if you want to do it yourself. Hey, so hopefully you enjoyed the content of this video. And if you did, smash the like button, support this YouTube channel. But more importantly, if you guys have any questions or comments to share, you can always use the comment section below. And my team will be happy to reply to you. I'm going to put a couple of videos related to this strategy below. But hopefully you can actually watch them as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.